Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. These stories come from Liverpool. It's about an operation that was done by the Matrix Priority Crime Team. This is a special unit of the police that focuses on violent crime in Liverpool and to prevent firearm violence. On the 6th of January, they took part in a proactive attempt to arrest people that was involved in a serious violence and protect the communities. The Matrix team arrested seven people for more serious crimes, including possession of a firearm, possession of criminal property, possession of a knife and drug offences. Plainclothes officers from the Matrix arrested four men on suspicion of firearm offences and driving offences after they were stopped on Arncliff Road. Officers spotted the men, two of which were riding on an electric bike at around 3pm. They managed to stop one of them and the other one rode off and two others ran off on foot. The detained 18-year-old was found when he was searched in possession of a loaded revolver style handgun and a large amount of cash. He was therefore arrested on suspicion of possession of a firearm and possession of criminal property. A further search of the area was conducted to try and locate the three other men, two of which, who were in their late 20s, were located shortly after and found in possession of a sawn-off shotgun. Both were arrested for firearm offences with the assistance of MPAS. The first man was also arrested and the electric bike was seized. In another arrest by the team that night, a 19-year-old girl was stopped on Flint Street and found in possession of a kitchen knife and cannabis. Officers headed to Dymoke Walk to conduct a drugs warrant under the intelligence they suspected a cannabis farm was being grown there in one of the properties. Officers forced entry to the property and found that the remains of a farm, a gun was also there and a house inquiry would later go on to establish the owner of the property. And then at 8pm officers on Cheadle Avenue spotted a person riding a mountain bike and rode off when he spotted them. He was detained and searched and found in possession of several bags of cannabis and the police searched his house and found 12 more bags of cannabis. And then lastly on Shill Road, officers stopped a car and noticed a strong smell of cannabis. The occupants were searched and a 23 year old male was found with £3,000. A further search of his address found more cannabis. That's just one night to some of the arrests that the Matrix team has done. And from researching this story, I found an article from early April where they actually went to undercover, the Daily Mail did, with the police from the Matrix unit. The Matrix unit was made specially to combat the violence between gangs in the city of Liverpool. And they said in this article, the team of 321 police officers had reduced the gun crime by a third in the city. The reporter David Rose said this was the Cantrell estate and this was infamous in the 80s with a 49% unemployment rate and they even set fire to the schools deliberately. It achieved notoriety on the front line of the newspapers for a long list of gun crime in the area. We recently covered stories as well from the Cantrell estate. In the article, the reporter is travelling with the Matrix unit and he goes to visit people that they say are marked and they're known to the police as nominals which would mean that they're of interest and at risk of being involved in gun crime. Chief Constable John Murphy says that the size of the Matrix 321 officers are full-time working on this role, and he reflects how seriously Merseyside Police are taking it. He says several times a week they will visit gang members to try to deter and disrupt any sort of activity. They have reduced the gun crime from in one year down from 124 gun discharges to 83. Following the murder of Rhys Jones, who was 11 years old, he was killed in 2007 when he was on his way home from football practice. He was caught in the crossfire of a gang war in the local area. And the wall of silence that followed actually went on to make documentaries and in-depth reenactments of the story due to the rare nature of it. One example of the operations done by Matrix was called Tennyson. It was a year-long operation and it had a string of court convictions for serious crime. Detective Superintendent Paul Richardson of the Matrix section said there was a trickle of intelligence about drug dealing and firearm discharges in Kensington that is close to Liverpool city centre. Police said they purchased drugs while undercover and then after months of surveillance, they broke a drug line that was controlling the area. They said it was a three-tier criminal hierarchy that had headquarters in Liverpool and had supplies from Holland directly. 
The rising levels of violence in the area, they connected to the gangs that were trying to fight for business. They even had an armory. Graham Johnson, he was a weapons courier. Anthony Gardner, who was 17 years old, carried guns across the city for gang members whenever the leadership thought they may be in need. The Matrix police called on Johnson and they found him hiding in his loft with a Mac-10 machine pistol, a Browning 9mm automatic, 200 rounds of hollow point ammunition and a single shotgun that was manufactured from a mag-like torch. They shut them down from top to bottom, the police said, and Richardson sometimes had a very simple philosophy when he worked. The police recovered £600,000 in drugs and six guns as well, and the operation ended with a wave of arrests last April. There have been no firearm discharges in Kensington since this. Ballistics analysis showed of the weapons, one was a Glock, had been used in at least four different shootings. 25 people ended up going to prison and Johnson was the armourer and he got eight years. That was half the sentence awarded to members of the gang who were convicted for supplying drugs. The police said they found that surprising and especially the fact of the way they converted something as simple as a mag light into a shotgun. That was the work of David Hampson. He was a Liverpool armourer himself and he was jailed for 20 years in September last year when he was found running a cottage industry from his flat on the Longview estate, reactivating replicas and deactivated weapons also by drilling out their barrels and refurbishing old firearms and also turning the mag light into being able to fire two two rounds and then a shotgun. He even turned Zippo lighters into firearms and had higher quality weapons that included a Belgian police Beretta. This goes to show the lengths and the depths of Liverpool's history with gun crime and the way that they've created a police force, a unit, the Matrix, specifically to combat this. And they say that this will be rolled out in different cities around the world, including America. America is actually going to replicate the Matrix police in Liverpool. And it's definitely a force that criminals are wary of and people definitely do take more precautions and evidently the crime rate has been reduced. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.